countries depend enormously on their reputations in order to survive and prosper in the world. If a country has a great positive image like Germany has, or Sweden or Switzerland, everything is easy and everything is cheap. You get more tourists, you get more investors, you sell your products more expensively. If, on the other hand, you have a country with a very weak or a very negative image, everything is difficult and everything is expensive. So governments care desperately about the image of their country because it makes a direct difference to how much money they can make. We don't admire countries primarily because they're rich, because they're powerful, because they're successful, because they're modern, because they're technologically advanced. We primarily admire countries that are good. What do we mean by good? We mean countries that seem to contribute something to the world in which we live. Countries that actually make the world safer or better or richer or fairer. Those are the countries we like. This is a discovery of significant importance. I can now say and often do to any government, in order to do well, you need to do good. If you want to sell more products, if you want to get more investment, if you want to become more competitive, then you need to start behaving because that's why people will respect you and do business with you. That's the Good Country Index. What's it there for? Well, it's there really because I want to try to introduce this word, or reintroduce this word, into the discourse. I've had enough hearing about competitive countries. I've had enough hearing about uh, prosperous, uh, wealthy, fast-growing countries. I've even had enough hearing about happy countries, because in the end, that's still selfish. That's still about us. And if we carry on thinking about us, we are in deep, deep trouble. I think we all know what it is that we want to hear about. We want to hear about good countries. And so, I want to ask you all a favor. I'm not asking a lot. It's something that you might find easy to do, and you might even find enjoyable and even helpful to do. And that's simply to start using the word good in this context. When you think about your own country, when you think about other people's countries, when you think about companies, when you talk about the world that we live in today, start using that word. In the, f in the way that I've talked about this evening. Not good the opposite of bad, because that's an argument that never finishes. Good the opposite of selfish. Good being a country that thinks about all of us. That's what I would like you to do. And I'd like you to use it as a stick with which to beat your politicians. When you elect them, when you re-elect them, when you vote for them, when you listen to what they're offering you, use that word good and ask yourself, is that what a good country would do? And if the answer is no, be very suspicious. Ask yourself, is that the behavior of my country? Do I want to come from a country where the government, in my name, is doing things like that? Or do I, on the other hand, prefer the idea of walking around the world with my head held high, thinking, yeah, I'm proud to come from a good country. And everybody will welcome you. And everybody, in the last 15 seconds before they drift off to sleep at night, will say, gosh, I'm glad that person's country exists. Ultimately, that, I think, is what will make the change. That word good and the number 6.8 and the discovery that's behind it have changed my life. I think they can change your life, and I think that we can use it to change the way that our politicians and our companies behave. And in doing so, we can change the world. I've started thinking very differently about my own country since I've been thinking about these things. I used to think that I wanted to live in a rich country, and then I started thinking I wanted to live in a happy country, but I began to realize it's not enough. I don't want to live in a rich country. I don't want to live in a fast-growing or competitive country. I want to live in a good country. And I so, so hope that you do too.